you can see this body is like really dirty inside. Okay folks, what we got here is a 2005 Nissan Sentra. Um, problem is uh, while driving it's cutting off um, or when you come to a stop slide it cuts off. Sometimes it's hard to restart. It only happens once the engine is warmed up. I went through and did uh, pretty much the simplest stuff like fuel pump, check all the fuel pump and um, PCV valve anything that could lead to a fuel problem everything seems fine um, after doing some research it leads me to believe that it's the throttle body maybe it's dirty or maybe it's going bad because it's one of these electronic throttle body so we're gonna take it apart first thing we gotta do is disconnect our battery then we're gonna remove the air filter housing we're gonna unplug our mass airflow sensor Remove these clamps, remove that uh, clip, remove the clip, any clips. I have already pulled this, this, this hose out and uh, we're going to keep working on this. Alright, now I'm disconnecting the mass airflow sensor. Disconnect anything that's holding it together. It's 10 millimeter nut. Or should I say 10 millimeter bolt is holding on this airflow tubing? Four clips. Just gonna get a rag and just cover this air filter. There's a clip here for the electronic cable. We're gonna unhook it and then pull this body out. This is an Allen key, but I've got an attachment for my ratchet, so that's what I'm gonna use. you get your allen key all the way in if not you could have some problems like a strip head just a couple of turns and it's usually out you can see this body is like really dirty inside So if you've seen my last video, you see that I cleaned the trotter body and reinstalled it and that did not fix my problem. So I bought a new trotter body and I'm replacing it on this car. Um, right now what I'm doing is I put the gasket in together with the trotter body and I put the two upper screw in uh, just to hold it in place, orienting the trotter body in the correct position. So that I can connect back my cable. Once I uh, get all four screws in, it's going to be hand tight, and then I'll use my special Allen key to do a final tight down. The problems I've been having with this car is that while I'm driving, I would lose power. You'll step on the gas all the way down, and you know when you step on that accelerator a car doesn't even move it's sluggish sometimes you come to a stop sign or a stoplight and it would just cut right off um, and I was not able to figure out the problem it's 
giving me a, a code of P0171, which is system lean. And I've checked everything, um, you know, make sure my fuel is working, my, uh, you know, I don't have a vacuum leak, nothing of the sort. And I could not figure out the problem. I know if I took it to the dealer, they'll charge me a couple of hundred bucks and they probably still won't fix the problem. So um, I've decided to tackle this job on my own. I've replaced a couple of other stuff you'll see uh, in other videos what I've done um, to fix the problem. And um, you know, finally I, I figured it out. But in this video is what I decided to replace the throttle body with a new throttle body. And just to let you know in advance, this video is just how to replace the throttle body but the new throttle body never fixed the problem. So I end up pulling it back out and returning it uh, where I bought it. Reinstall the old throttle body back. Now what I'm doing here is I'm gonna connect back my uh, intake, intake uh, tubings. So make sure all my uh, screws, bolts, clamps, um, sensors all get connected back the way it was and um, when I'm done I will proceed with relearning the um, the throttle body to the engine itself so that way you have the proper air fuel mixture and the car function normal Once I'm done with connecting all the parts and, and back to the way it was, I'm gonna reconnect the battery back to the uh, to the car, making sure um, everything is connected properly, and then I would just relearn the throttle body. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel to see how I fix this problem. Always, uh, you can always post a comment if you have questions on, on anything that I'm doing in my video.